For problem C, we have another 45-45-90 triangle, but this time it doesn't give us the length of either of the legs. What it gives us is the hypotenuse. You can see the hypotenuse is 6 root 2. The relationship for the hypotenuse in a 45-45-90 triangle is that the hypotenuse is equal to the leg times the square root of 2. So here, if we sub in our values, the hypotenuse is 6 root 2, and my legs are x and y, and I'm just going to use x here. Once I find x, I've also found y, since the legs are congruent. So 6 root 2 has to be equal to x root 2. And now to get the x by itself, we just divide each side by root 2. And the root 2s over root 2 cancels out, so we're down to just 6 equals x. So my x is 6, and since the legs are congruent, the y is also 6. So type 6 in both the text box for x and for y. In problem D, we are back to a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And remember that in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, everything is based off of the short leg, which is opposite the 30 degree angle. So here my 30 degree angle would be right here, and my short leg would be y. It gives me though the length of the long leg. So I have to use my long leg to figure out what the short leg is equal to. Remember the long leg is just the short leg times root three. So here two has to be equal to y, my short leg, times the square root of three. And to get y by itself, we need to divide each side by root 3. Since there isn't a root 3 in the numerator to cancel out with the root 3 in the denominator, we're going to need to rationalize the denominator get, to get our answer. y is 2 over the square root of 3, but we don't want to have a root 3 in the denominator for our answer to be in simplest radical form. So to undo a divide by root 3, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 3, and that makes... 2 root 3 on top, and then in the denominator, root 3 times root 3 is just 3. So my y value is 2 root 3 over 3. And when you type that on Schoology, in the box for 2 thirds, because that's what's outside the radical, you can just go 2 and then slash 3 and then drag and drop one of the root threes next to it. So that's how it'll look in your interactive notebook. All right, next I need to find my x, which is the hypotenuse. And remember, the hypotenuse is just 2 times the short leg. So here that's 2 times 2 root 3 over 3. If we just take 2 times 2 then, that's... 4 root 3 over 3. So for your x value, you can type, well, the answer is 4 root 3 over 3. But when you type that in your interactive notebook, in the text box, you can just use 4 slash 3 for 4 thirds, and then the root 3 next to it. In problem E here, we have a 45-45-90 triangle, and it's giving me the hypotenuse. Going back to our 45-45-90 relationships, the hypotenuse is just the leg times the square root of 2. So here, 11 has to be equal to x, that's one of my legs, times the square root of 2. To get x by itself, though, we have to divide each side by root 2. So our x value is going to be 11 divided by the square root of 2, which once again needs to be rationalized. To get rid of the root 2 in the denominator, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by square root of 2, which makes 11 root 2 on top. And then in the denominator, root 2 times root 2 is just 2. Since 11 divided by 2 doesn't divide nicely, it makes 5 and a half, we're just going to leave it as a fraction. So for our x value, it would be 11 root 2 over 2. And our y would be the same because the legs are congruent. So 11 root 2 over 2. 
Again, when you guys are typing these into your interactive notebook, in the text box for the fraction, if you just want to go 11 slash 2, and then a root 2 next to it, same thing for the x, 11 slash 2 for the fraction, and then a root 2 next to it. Now for our final example, we're back to a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And this time I'm giving you the length of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 22, that's the side across from the 90. We need to figure out the length of the short side because in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, everything's based off the short side, which is the Y here. Recall that in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is equal to two times the short leg. So here, 22 has to be equal to 2 times y. And if we just divide by 2, we get y equal 11. The short leg is just half the hypotenuse. Now that we have the short leg, we can use that to find the long leg. Because the long leg is just the short leg times the square root of 3. So here, my long leg x would be equal to 11 root 3. And you can type 11 into the text box and then drag and drop one of the root threes next to it so that your answer looks like 11 root three. This concludes lesson 7.2 day four, where we did a mixed review on 45, 45, 90 and 30, 60, 90 triangles. You're now ready to go to Schoology and complete your 7.2 day four homework assignment. Thanks for watching. Bye.